Hello Taurus and welcome to your May 2020 future love reading. This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Alright Taurus, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? This is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? What is going on with their... Okay. Alright, so... Your person is kind of struggling here. Your person is struggling. Um, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like this is speaking more... Like they're addicted to you. Like there's an obsession here. They may struggle with some um, personal demons right now. Let's let's put it that way. But they their mind is on you, right? They want to improve themselves for you, Taurus. They want to come back around. I feel like they brought toxicity to your doorstep here. They want engagement, right? They Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this person wants to ascend. They want to improve themselves. They want to get rid of any kind of negative behaviors, any kind of negative people that they may be around. Uh, they're, they're battling right now. Um, and they want to improve themselves for themselves, yes, but honestly, mostly for you. They want to make themselves better for you so that they can be with you because I feel like Unless they, they change and they know this, you're not going to have anything to do with them. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's going on here. This is for Taurus. Future love reading. If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Taurus. What's going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love for Taurus? They're manifesting. Okay. This is... Um, the way this has landed here, let me show you this. Okay, Taurus, um, we've got the King of Swords and we've got the Queen of Swords, but we're not looking at each other. You have turned away from them. I feel this is more you. You've turned your back to them. They're trying to look out forward. They're trying to move forward, right? They're trying to get their lives together, but coming through... As king and queen of swords, the, the masculine and the feminine of the same suit, um, I, it's a strong soul connection, right? But this is two people that um, it's almost like we're trying to be strategic. I feel like the more... The more the person that's trying to look forward... The person that's trying to look forward, and I feel like that's your person, they're trying to improve. They're trying to make themselves better, right? Because they have displayed some pretty shady behavior. But we will get to that in a moment. Um, they harbor secrets still, right? And they're trying to work that out. You may not know that they still um, have feelings for you or that they, they want to improve for you or they want to come back to you and they want to level up the situation. 
I, and fully commit to you. You may not even be aware of that. That could be hidden here. You yourself are going to have to use your intuition in regards to this individual because I'm still feeling things hidden, things secret. And with this seven of swords here on the table, uh, not a very, it's, it's a very dishonest energy right now. And I feel like this is where, to me, this is very devil card in the tarot. This is where this toxic energy comes in, um, this obsessive energy. So still not being able to be 100%. But they are battling their demons. Okay. So high priestess here. Things that are hidden. You're going to have to use your intuition here on this Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. They still have hope. They still have faith in the situation. They still dream of you and wish for you. All right. They, they still feel things can balance out and work out between you. That's what they want. That's what they're wishing and hoping for. So they have not lost faith in this situation. But you have left them out in the cold, right? You've left them out in the cold. And it's very evident because the queen has turned, turned their back. Male or female, doesn't matter. I feel like you are the one, whether you are a male or a female, that has turned your back on this person because of their dishonest, secretive behavior. And they have toxic tendencies that they're going to have to fight and clear out, clear out of their energy before you allow them to even be around you because they feel very shut out, they feel very lost, and they feel very alone. Five of Pentacles, this is earth energy. This person thinks about you a lot. You are constantly on their mind. And they are um, high anxiety, high stress. They don't know. How, they're trying to figure out a way to fix it. They're struggling. They are struggling with their demons right now. And their demons keep them up at night. Right? These toxic behaviors. Um, Taurus, this seems a bit specific, but if this is for you, then it is for you, right? Um, if it's not for you, then it's, it's not for you. Don't try to make it fit. I feel like this is a past person that, um, has a lot of deep seated issues, right? Um, a lot of things that they need to heal from a lot of things that they need to, uh, clear out of their, of their energy and so that they can be a healthy person. They, they struggle. They're struggling right now. This is known as the nightmare card. They would love to be with you, but um, the, the toxic energy around them and their, their behaviors, um, it, they, it's really, it's, they're having a tough time battling that. So they're struggling. Um, Nine of Swords, this is air energy. Okay. So Taurus, like I said, if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It seems very specific. So if this is somebody, if this is something that somebody out there needs to hear, then, the, you know, this is what's on the table. Uh, don't try to make it fit. I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. You could be dealing with this right now or in the future, right? Future love read. Um, what else? Cross watchers, keep in mind some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, right? So you assign the roles as you wish. You may feel like the Taurus is, um, is showing toxic behaviors and you may resonate with it that way, okay? So you assign the roles as you wish. It's a general reading. So with these two cards together, I feel like this person has a way to manipulate using their words, okay, um, so be careful of that, um, the magician, right, they're still trying to manifest this with you, like I said, they have not lost hope, they have not lost faith, but all they can do, basically, I, I do believe that they're going to try to come back around, I do believe that they're going to try to come in from out of the cold, right, uh, but it may be a pretty icy reception, to be honest. 
So they're, they're trying. They're trying to work it out. They're trying to figure things out. They're trying to heal. They're trying to improve themselves. But it is, it is a, a, a struggle right now. So they're trying to make things happen. They're trying to make new beginnings happen with you, new beginnings within themselves. And they're, they're trying to um, like create new energy around them. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing, right? Still, they, they haven't been 100% with you in the past. They had some shady things going on. Different things going on behind your back, Taurus, that brought toxicity to the situation, to the relationship. Okay? So this is known as the thief card. Miscommunication, dishonest communication, sneaking around, that kind of thing. Just being shady. Seven of Swords, that's air energy. So this is the masculine and this is the feminine, right? So strong connection here. A lot of lessons learned between the two of you, that's for sure. But you, I feel, like I said before, whether you're, you're, you're the male or the female, it doesn't matter. This person over here has, is, is more experienced now, but has grown cold in the situation with this person over here. They, you, you have turned your back the way it fell out on the table. You have turned your back to this individual over here. This person's trying to look forward. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to gain clarity with that sword. They're trying to get clear. They're trying to think about things. Um, they're trying to improve themselves for you and trying to improve their life, mind, body, and spirit for you. But it's, it's, it's almost like we've got two very strategic chess players here, right? This one is not engaging. I just don't feel like you're engaging in any kind of BS from this person anymore. You will not be manipulated anymore. You're not dealing with it anymore. So they are going to have to get control. Um, and a king of swords can be a very controlling person, but they also need some communication and, and sometimes they need clarity, right? With that sword there. So I feel like this is your person trying to move forward and gain clarity and battle. This one is somebody that's in battle with these toxic behaviors that they have brought to the table here. So balls in your court here, Taurus, if you want to, um, um, take this person back, right? Balls in your court. You're going to have a big decision here if you want to um, take a new journey with this past person or continue on your way. A lot of you may want to continue on your way, and that's fine. Um, it just depends on your specific situation. Two of Wands, it's fire energy. This is for Taurus. What's going on? What's going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love? There it is. It's going to take them some time. But they are fighting, right? And they can't let you go. So, again... I can see this card two ways. You turning their back on them completely until they get it together, right? Three of Wands. That's your decision that you have made. If they get it together, great. If they don't, great. Um, you've you've just you you have no emotion left for the situation. You gave it all you got. So you have to turn your back. It's kind of like a tough love situation here, and um, they're they're going to have to do what they got to do. They got to fix themselves. And that is what they're trying to do. That is what they're trying to do. Um, so with this card as well, I feel like this is them looking out into the future. Like I said, this person is looking forward, right? So this person is trying to gain clarity, trying to fight. They're, they're fighting them. They're, they're demons. They're fighting their addictions. They're, they're fighting all the negative energies that are around them. So that they can make a clear path towards you. So they still see a future here with you, Taurus, okay? Again, very manipulative at times, this person with their words. Um, especially with these two cards. But like I said before, to me, this is the devil card in the tarot. And here, here's the devil, right? So this is, they're battling, 
they're battling right now. And you could be dealing with a very powerful um, manifester here. This person can be very um, powerful in how they want their life to go. They just have to work. They just have to work at at um, at what they want, how, what they really want, so that they can win over this toxic energy here. And sometimes it's 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 hard for you to tell the sincerity of this person, but it's almost like they're switching they're they're changing from a dishonest person to a very sincere person okay do you see that transformation there so we got a liar here and then we've got somebody that as slow as it may be for this person to change is going to come through this and they're going to be more grounded and they're going to be more stable and they're going to be able to give you very sincere and true offers okay now whether you, Taurus, will be able to trust that or not. If you trust it, you know, that's going to be up for you to decide right here. So, like I said, this person is in battle mode. They're looking ahead. And this is somebody in the warrior's pose. You yourself have blocked this person from your emotion and probably everywhere else. Um, they are standing their ground. They are standing their grounds against whatever this is that that just uh, blinds them that makes it's almost like uh, sometimes they they can't even think straight because of this negative energy around them and the, and the toxic things that that happen you know that they do uh, but they're fighting through it they're gaining clarity and they're they're standing their ground against all this toxicity Okay, so know that they they are in a battle here. They cannot let go of you, and you are very guarded emotionally. Queen of Swords is can be cold as ice, right? You're thinking with your head now. Your heart, your heart um, is very well hidden right now, um, and very guarded. But they they can't let you go. They're 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 they still hold on to hope. And I do feel when the time is right, when they feel like they've cleared some of this um, negative energy, they're not going to care who you're with. They're not going to care what you're doing. They're not going to care where you live. They they do not care. They are coming for you. They're coming towards you, and they will be better for the most part, and they will be very sincere here in their offerings to you, but this is going to take some time. But this is, um, this is somebody that is uh, obsessively thinking about you and how to be able to get back into your good graces. And, the, and they know that the only way that they can do that is by completely changing. And that's what they're that's what they're fighting to do. Whew. All right, Taurus, that is your future love read, and I hope it resonates with some of you, all of you, right? I think it's a little bit specific, but I hope it resonates with some of you at least. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll leave all those links down below in the description box. Um, yeah, please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there, especially on Instagram. Um, next week, Taurus, I will be working on the June. Yeah, June. Lord, June. Um, 2020 big monthly reading. So check that out for um, you all that are new to the channel. Welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule... Um, I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all of that out. Um, yeah, so Taurus, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're having a good evening. And I hope, um, I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care and God bless.